Hey everybody, you know me. It's Paul from Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning. And today I'm going to mix up my video a little bit differently and start out featuring the items that are going to be in this video. You see I have the industrial floor polishing machine. This is my 175. It did come with the tank and two brushes and a pad holder for $6.99. And I'm also going to use my brush. This is a high tech and it works great for upholstery, but I'm going to use it today on the edges where the cat pee is in the corners. All of these two items came from eBay. And the Auric Orbiter I'll be using on the stairs. I prefer the XL Pro. And it works fantastic on the stairs and I use it uh, for regular smaller areas. This is the Scott Lithium 2 gallon sprayer. It's automatic, it pumps the air into the unit itself. It's actually on sale for $69.54. Those two items were from Amazon. I'll be using Green Dragon for chemical of choice in this video. And price range is $11.29 for two pounds and it goes up into the case lot price. I'm also using a stabilized CLO2, which is called Odor Death. And it you can get it by the gallon or you can buy it by the case. And the mix ratio makes it very cost effective. And the new Zinger. These are the uh, pads I'm going to be using. I will use an 18-inch pad. This is the Oryx size, 13-inch for $10 and a nickel. And also the Polar pads. This also is the Oryx size. You'll see me use this when I clean the stairs or after I clean the stairs. I'll show you how it picked up all the soil. And all those products are from the ncapstore.com. And I get most of my stuff from Damon Williams at the NCAP store, so feel free to check out his website. And then the pad driver that is on the Auric Orbiter is from Challenger. And Challenger makes their own machine, floor machine, as well as accessories. And this one works great. And again, that's Challenger. And here we go. So you can see, there's my brush, and I've got a lot of urine in the corners right there and there, and it looks like they may have treated it with something, so hopefully I can get this out. These carpets are from 1979. <laughs> there's my Scott Lithium Sprayer and my... 175. <clears throat> so check it out. This machine works beautifully. You'll notice that I did have to mod the wheels. The original wheels were just too small to pull it up the stairs. I do have a few permanent stains on this carpet, Kool Aid. Or I should say stains that I'm not going to attempt to get out via heat transfer or any other method. There is quite a bit of wear on the carpet, but overall for being 1979, I would have to say these carpets are in really good shape. Main thing is, is to get them clean and looking good. The downstairs and the staircase that I'll be doing today are all new carpet. So those should come out just fine. It's these three small bedrooms upstairs that will require a little extra oomph. And like I said, I'm using the Zinger, 18 inch Zinger pad from the NCAP store here. Uh, you may have seen me feature those on my last commercial job. I was quite impressed with the microfiber and the red scrubbing strips um, on that job. 
And again, I must say I'm pretty impressed uh, here on this job. The machine moves nicely over the surface of this carpet. And the pad is actually saving me a step. Look at that. Do you remember this? Got all of that out of there. It came out absolutely beautiful. The lighting through the window might play some tricks on us, but here I've already done the stairs. I just have to groom them. And I did those with the Auric Orbiter. And I did use the Polar Pad, which again is featured at the beginning of the video. And I'll finish this room with the 175 as well. But take a look at just off the stairs, and this house just recently sold, so the only soil was people that were looking at the house that were interested in buying it. And that's how much soil I got out of there. And you can see it doesn't penetrate all the way through, so you can flip it over and use the other side. I do really like the polar pads. They work great for even delicate, like wool rugs, area rugs. There's the Challenger pad driver on the Auric. So far, I'm loving it. It's working fantastic. I featured that at the beginning of the video. It runs 4250, well worth it. And there's the 18 inch zinger pad. I'm gonna take the old one off, spray down the rim, and I'll go and just methodically go across. Get it nice and clean. And here we go. I actually had the handle up a little high on this particular clip. And I didn't realize it until after I played it back, but sometimes when the handle is not lowered enough, the direction and the pull can be a little more sporadic. So I slowed it down just a little bit since I'm using just one hand. I need to get that tripod I keep talking about. But this is working fantastic. And I know people are going to ask why I didn't use my brand new Eco Mighty 14. And the only reason I did not use it was the last job um, I did before this was another commercial job small areas and so I already had this at the very back of the van so rather than shift everything around it was pouring rain I chose to just yank this off the back of the van and bring it into the house plus the customer is a new customer I've never dealt with and he had a whole bunch of questions so I thought well I'll just make this easy on myself and get started right away you could see looking beautiful I did have to drag the plug across the carpet there. So I'll have to come back and groom all this with my magic brush. But this whole job came out beautiful. So that's it for this episode. I'll get everything packed away in the van. I have one more small apartment to do. If I get a chance, I'll try and film there. I do need to get a tripod. So I'll be working on that, but in the meantime, I hope everybody's well. I'll see you in the next one.